Welcome to the Southern, Southern California Center for Reproductive Medicine. I'm Dr. Royster, and I want to share with you a hot topic that's been asked of us nearly every day this year, and that's whether you should get the Pfizer or the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine. The simple answer is a resounding yes. Dr. Anderson and I completed our vaccination back in January, and our nursing staff should finish their second dose this weekend. Understand that social distancing, wearing a mask, washing your hands frequently, and eliminating non-essential travel is paramount to defeating coronavirus while we launch our nationwide vaccination program. The president's medical advisor, Dr. Fauci, estimates that we need 70 to 85% of the population vaccinated in order to resume normal life as we knew it before, with only about 2% of the U.S. population currently vaccinated. The Centers for Disease Control, the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology, and the American Society of Reproductive Medicine all support the vaccination of women who are pregnant, attempting to get pregnant, or who are actively breastfeeding. The Pfizer and Moderna vaccines have a 94 to 95% efficacy in preventing symptomatic COVID-19 infections after given both doses three to four weeks apart. The Pfizer and Moderna vaccines are not a live virus, so you cannot get COVID-19 from the vaccine itself. They use a new technique to elicit immune response by using mRNA spike protein that does not cross the placenta during pregnancy with no evidence of congenital abnormalities or infertility in those who receive the vaccine during phase three trials. The most common side effects are injection site soreness, headache, body ache, joint soreness, and fevers in about 16% of patients, especially after the second dose, and rarely an anaphylactic reaction. If you're planning an IVF stimulation cycle, then you should get your vaccine as scheduled with no change needed to your stimulation protocol because a vaccine will not cause you to have a positive, a positive COVID-19 PCR or antigen test, which could cancel your IVF cycle should you get COVID-19 during your IVF cycle. SoCal Fertility recommends that you let us know if you're offered the COVID-19 vaccine around the time of your embryo transfer because we encourage you to get this vaccine as soon as it's offered to you and to take the second dose as scheduled because we can modify your frozen embryo transfer cycle to accommodate your vaccination schedule. We do not recommend that you receive the first or the second vaccination dose immediately before your actual embryo transfer day because of those common side effects I mentioned earlier of fever, headache, body aches. That would not be ideal during the time of embryo implantation. We can modify your frozen embryo transfer cycle accordingly without lowering your chances of getting pregnant while allowing you to get your COVID-19 vaccine as scheduled. Rest assured, the benefits of being vaccinated and not contracting COVID-19 far outweigh any potential risks of the vaccine. Please understand that there's a lag time between the time you receive the second vaccine dose and achieve peak antibody immunity. Therefore, you are still at, um, at risk of contracting COVID-19 and you may be able to still transmit the virus to others, even though you have completed your vaccinations. The continuation of social distancing, wearing a mask, washing your hands, and eliminating non-essential travel is paramount to us getting back to normal life. Please let us know if you're getting the vaccine and we will work around your vaccination schedule without compromising your ability to get pregnant. Thank you for your time and give us a call if you have any questions. Have a great day.